Caitlyn Jenner honored with the Arthur Ashe Courage Award at the ESPYs. Did she deserve it? Was it the right choice? Here she was last night on ABC. Take a look. All across the world, at this very moment, there are young people coming to terms with being transgender. They're learning that they're different, and they're trying to figure out how to handle that on top of every other problem that a teenager has. They're getting bullied. They're getting beaten up. They're getting murdered, and they're committing suicide. But this transition has been harder on me than anything I could imagine. And that's the case for so many others besides me. For that reason alone, trans people deserve something vital. They deserve your respect. I'd like to thank, personally, my buddy Diane Sorrell. You know, you can only tell your story the first time once, and Diane, you did it so authentically and so gracefully. Joining me now in the audience, Shagun Odu Olowu, entertainment journalist, Zoe Tur, pilot and reporter who herself is transgender, and Ben Shapiro, senior editor, Breitbart News, author of Bullies. Ben, did she deserve this award? For what? For, for courageously coming forward, for having been an athlete of great prowess, and now fighting a new battle. Uh, what exactly is the battle? I mean, self-definition is what you do, and my baby's doing it 18 months old. I wasn't aware that you get a medal for it. She good? I think she's a fraud. I thought the message and the messenger were, were wrong. I was in the audience at the ESPYs, and if you want to talk about courage, she said it herself in her speech that she retreated to her mansion on, on, in the hill and was... Where was she in the 70s when, gay, when the LGBT community was fighting for acceptance? Where was she in the 80s when the AIDS epidemic was ravaging the she LGBT community? She was hiding, community? feeling bad about hiding. being transgender. Where was she in the 90s when shows like 90210, no, Melrose I, Place, and Will and Grace were bringing people, gay people to the forefront? Where was she in 2000s? She couldn't when come forward yet. Yeah. My thing is this. She's a 65-year-old she's a rich white woman that decided to do this, but don't tell me you're walking in the truth for other transgender kids, kids of color who don't have that war chest of money to get the surgery to look like she looks. They're not going to get the cover okay. of Vanity Fair. So don't tell me that she is going to stand on the banks waving her hand as the Re beacon for transgender when there's regardless a river of blood of people that die. Okay, regardless of who the messenger is, okay, whether you like it or her not or think that this is an authentic person or not or her, her intent, she is bringing a conversation to the forefront that is helping people better understand, not you, unfortunately, better understand the transgender community, have more empathy, have more tolerance, and that is saving lives. Because as she stated, there are so many transgender youths and adults that are victims of violence, that are beat up, that are bullied because of the discrimination. So thank God that now she is mainstreaming it so people can better understand it and have tolerance. Sam, that so, so, wait. Sam, Sam, that's dead wrong. Wait, no, wait, it's wait, not wait, dead wait. wrong. She lives, in the, she lives in the most accepting city in the, in, in, oh in, in the state. And go do that in Alabama. Don't know what you're be, be a hero. Be <laughs> yeah. a no, hero. Listen to, listen to Zoe. Let's listen to, to Zoe. Okay. Zoe, go ahead. Good try. <laughs> you have to bifurcate it. Did she deserve the honor? Probably not. Is she brave? Of course she's brave. All those years invested as, as this sports legend to come out transgender is horribly difficult. It is the most difficult thing you can do. I've been overseas. I've flown uh, helicopter missions, surveillance missions. I've been shot, stabbed. Being brave is being yourself. And being transgender is, is about the bravest thing you can do. Did but she deserve the award? Yes. Why are we mainstreaming delusion? It's not delusion. Why, why would delusion. you call it delusion? Because Bruce Caitlyn Jenner, I'll call him Caitlyn Jenner. No, because it's that's her. Gonna... You're not being polite to the pronoun. Because Disrespect. It, okay, forget about the disrespect. Facts don't care about your feelings. It turns out that every chromosome, every cell in Caitlyn Jenner's body is male with the exception of some of his sperm cells. You it turns out that his brain structure is male. Wait, I need it to... turns out that he still has all of his male appendages. But How this... he feels on the inside is irrelevant but... to the question of his biological sex. I don't... I don't agree with that. I'm not on that train. <laughs> I'm not on that train. <laughs> she she wants to be called she. I'm going to call her she. 
I, I just have a problem with the message and the messenger. So, well, let's let's now let's. I'm going to do two things. I want to re reiterate what Zoe said, which is the bifurcation of the courage to come forward after a lifetime as a male and a certain kind of a male, versus did she deserve this award? Listen, the awards, what are award ceremonies except the opportunity to catch some eyes? And, Especially the ESPN. So, uh, yeah. it's like ESPN, well, well done, ABC. Yeah. They did exactly what their job was, oh, to attract eyes. They did it. That's what award ceremonies are for. But in terms of the science behind gender uh, dysphoria, you, you're very familiar with that, Zoe. Very familiar. It's not about the chromosome. Excuse me, the chromosomes within we our nuclei. We both know nuclei. That yeah, chromosomes don't necessarily mean you're male or female. Gender. With gender. Gender of identity. Go ahead. Now, so Especially, what, but even so, you have a uh, thing like Kleinfelter's syndrome. So you don't know what you're talking about. You're not educated on genetics. Would you like to discuss the genetics? Or well, well, no, what no. Are your genetics. I, I, so I'd stay away from the genetics and back to the brain scans. You cut that out now, or you'll go home in an ambulance. Yeah, that seems mildly inappropriate for a political discussion. No, no, I know. Well, yeah. but wait, to be fair, but to, you, but but to be fair, wait, but to be fair, you are, but to be fair, you're actually being hey guys, kind of rude. You're and, that, no, 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 and, and no, that's no, no. not fair. I'm sorry, it's not rude to say that someone who's biologically a male sir. is a male. You just someone who's biologically sir. male is a male. But Mr. So. Shapiro, you know, you knew very well that well, saying that to Zoe would be. Would be inflammatory. egregiously inflammatory. insulting. It's not a matter of insulting or inflammatory. It is. No, sir, 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 no, sir you're right. Hey, uh, on, a, on the on paper, okay. what yeah. is a fact is a fact, and I, yeah, I, I can't deny this, that. This but you knew that going in that that to saying that to Zoe would be aggressively insulting. It's a matter of aggressively insulting. It is. It's a, the entire discussion is whether we are embracing mental illness and delusion as a society. That's the entire discussion. No, well, no, 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 no. But that's, you're avoiding the fact. You're avoiding the fact. Here, here's, avoiding here's the fact. If you want to talk facts, you're avoiding the fact. You're not a dumb man. You knew that saying that to Zoe would be incredibly have her Stop it. Roll on the last word here. You haven't had a chance. And then, you know, there's, then some, gotta... there's some very startling statistics that are out that say that 80% of us know somebody who's gay or, 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 or bisexual or even transvestite or lesbian. But only 1% of us know somebody who is in transition. So this is a new discussion for us. A lot of it is very scary for a lot of people. But that's, I think, whether we agree with the whole Caitlin transition or not. The reality is that we are in a state in, as humanity right now where we need to exercise a little bit more tolerance we need to understand the things that we don't understand a bit more instead of making inflammatory comments maybe we have a little bit more tolerance we'll that's see. what i we'll think see. we'll keep this was. going we'll keep it going but later we're going to no no aggression no violence we're going to we're going to we're going to caitlin jenner she was honored with the arthur ash courage award last night at the espies there's speculation that the award was payback for having given diane sawyer her first interview with Jenner on ABC and ESPN are part of the same corporation, of course, the Disney family. And ABC tells Los Angeles Times, quote, there is absolutely no connection between the interview and the award. There's simply no truth to that claim. Back with Sam, Rolanda, and Mike, and in the audience, Shagoon, Zoe, and Ben. All right, so, Zoe, it, it, you're in that piece, you're saying it wasn't a transgender going at their own pace. It was a product rollout. What are the liabilities to the human being Caitlyn Jenner, as a result of being a part of this product roll rollout? Well, you can't sustain that type of energy. You cannot sustain that type of fame. Things shift. You have to reinvent yourself. But I think at some point, this comes crashing down because along with all this, you know, adulation and, and hype, eventually you, you find out that you, you're really in an existential crisis because what's my life really going to be like? Will it be... You have to deal with people like this, the hatred, the people that, you know, that, that come out against you and, no and say... We're we'll calling you delusional. It wasn't okay. It's hatred. Yeah, that's hatred. Okay. This is just somebody that's... that's I don't hate you. I have yes, sympathy of course for you. I feel terrible for you. No, no, you do hate. You're consumed with hatred. That is who really? you are. You're a little do you know man. me? You're a little man. Let's yeah, not, actually, I do. Let's stick to the topic. Let's, let's, not, let's not these first... But, I mean, that's okay. He can be whatever he wants. But the point is... Right. That's what this is all about, isn't it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. And, but there's ramifications for hate speech. But the point is that... ramifications? Let me finish. Go ahead. Know. Finish, Zoe. Little boy. St Zoe. Okay. Zoe. Uh, so, I'm sorry. It's all, everybody. Sorry. Come on. Buttons are being pushed. Go ahead. The, the whole point is that Jenner will... This will come crashing down. 
Okay. Because well, I, like, like in other reality shows, Mike, I saw a Facebook post where there was 30 reality shows that had, uh, contestants or participants who had died within a year or two of their of their shows, and right. I was looking, I was scrolling through that on Facebook, something like 85% of them was suicide. Right. It's incredible. It's, it's, it's like kind of becoming the quarterback before you've ever even played football. Yeah. Um, there's a, there's a, a definite kind of build up to getting that type of attention well, and now this too in the face of all these mag these tremendous changes in who this person is and their life and their lifestyle and their family issues all that is sort of now around this arousal I of think the Caitlin's built for it I really do this is a let's not forget this is a world-class athlete who's dealt with pressure her entire life who knows how to speak to herself and pump herself up who, who pump herself up who knows the difference between perse perseverance more than any other person that's a non-athlete I think that this is her mission in life and if I could ask you because I'm still harping on some of the things that you mentioned earlier Back to Ben to sure. Ben you uh, you come from like in your mind a moralist right uh, it, you no, think I come from a moral. basic biological reality but okay can it's not a moral just, thing if, if, if somebody wants to mutilate their body that's their it's choice not mutilation but can we just talk about cutting off testicles is mutilation can we talk that's about not the actually fact? what they do though right okay, not hold they go in, in inside out well, but they don't even, most transgender don't have the genital reassignment. Most of them are not. Okay, right. Ben, let me, let me, can I finish me, real quick? Because this is course. important. Well, because I, I, want, I want to let you piggyback on something. May I let you do that? Because yes, I, you may. Because I'm going to. My blood is boiling. I know, and I'm going to give you a little more fuel. This is now because he Ben Ben is part of a a lot of people that have various kinds of feelings about this. This is what's always talked about. Here's Peter Berg, best known for producing Friday Night Lights. He posted this picture on Instagram with the caption, quote, one man traded two legs for the freedom of the other to trade two balls for two boobs. Yeah. Guess which man made the cover of Vanity Fair, was praised for his courage by President Obama, and is to be honored with the Arthur Ashe Courage Award by ESPN. That's similar stuff so, okay, you're so first to. of all, first of all, of course, a wounded soldier deserves all the accolade and respect in the world. They save lives. Well, guess what? There's many different ways to save lives. I believe that Caitlyn Jenner bringing this conversation to the forefront is saving lives. And at the end of the day, can you look at the fact that more than 50% of transgender youth attempt suicide because of discrimination, because of shame? Does that try to alter the way that you, you how, how, how you should project your, your thoughts? If what if they're watching right now? Where if there is a teen out watching right now that is struggling with who they are, living their truth? Let's talk about some of the biological facts for one second. No, I want well, you to answer I'm me. Happy. What would you say to a teen right now that, that, that really believes 100 Allow me to answer your question. I'm, I, I, I'm full of emotion would, right now because people die. I've noticed. Clearly, clearly you're, it doesn't bother you because you're oh, sitting there stone-faced and cold-hearted. Of course it bothers me when people commit suicide, which is one of the reasons I don't believe that transgender surgery is the solution, considering that the suicide rate after transgender surgery is precisely the same yeah, because as the suicide then, rate before transgender surgery. Yeah, because then surgery. technically they're not passing and then they're open for more discrimination. Okay. The transgender suicide rate is approximately 0.8 in every 100. The only comparable suicide rate in human history of which I am aware is Jews living under Austrian and German rule during World War II to liken the treatment of transgenders in the United States or the Western world to Jews You're living under Nazis. No, apples I'm actually oranges. comparing apples to apples but in I terms of the so, suicide but I, rate. But I think if you can see what, what discrimination does... Why are we does, looking for actual solutions? Well, why, well, why, why well is it then stop society? hating. So, tolerate. Well, before, it's not, I, I'm happy to tolerate. Whatever we, people want to do is what they want to do. But the idea that the surgery itself is something to be glorified, to I be rebels believe. in the mental I, illness... But, I, think if you can, I think if you can bring up the difficulty that Jewish people have faced because of hatred, then why why can't you as a human, as M Dr. Maya Angelou would say that I am human so therefore nothing human can be alien to me. Why can't you take that position and understand based upon your history? I don't hate anybody who has a mental illness and is trying to figure out how to fix that. What I well, do, there might have been I'm, people I'm who to, said... I'm not going to liken the, tra the, the treatment of Jews under no, Nazis. No, I, I, I think any time, any time a life is in trouble, we're all in trouble. You brought we're that all up. in trouble. The reason I brought that up is as a comparison of the treatments of the two and saying that the suicide rate is similar. So there Therefore, if the circumstances yes. of the two are different, a, and the, no, the circumstances similar, are may, may not be different. If, if you have bullying, if you have murders, if you w there is a genocide on transgender really? children wait, right wait, now. You I, really, I think we are on, missing. Really, I think we are we are going so far afield. As all people, we should be for inclusion. As That's a right. black person and as a Jewish person who knows what persecution is, we should all be for inclusion. Yeah. No one is saying that we should not be for, for inclusion. At least I'm not. What I'm saying about this award is she does not 
Caitlyn Jenner does not walk in the shoes of those young transgender youth because they don't have the means that she has. So when we say that you she's supposed to... she was as a teenager. But, and, you, and, you can, and you cannot deny the fact that, that she gave hope to somebody out there. It's, she gave, she now, gave them They may not have the $70,000 to have the surgery. They said, may not have a white uh -huh. gown and get to walk away with an SB. I've got to wrap but, it there. i got to wrap it there. Ben, let me just deal with your biological question, sure. mental illness question. Let, let's say that transgender is a illness how would you what's the goal of treatment then the goal of treatment would be yeah. to cure whatever uh, uh, can't cure it. it's not curable okay the, lots of illnesses are not curable this one has okay. to not be curable what's so, alcoholism, so where, uh, what's alcoholism for instance what, okay. what's the goal so the, the goal would be to allow people to live with it in, a, in an appropriate way to flourish right to flourish not to sure. require them to Absolutely. assign to one gender or another without but to flourish right, right? With, without so, imposing on the without imposing anything. on the rest of society well, they, a, a necessity they, for fictionalized thinking no, no, okay because like, that actually is a cost to society I'm sorry but my, my grandfather was bipolar okay yeah. and he thought that the radio was talking to him yeah they put him in a mental hospital they did not tell him the radio is talking to him to allow him to live a better life they put him into a mental hospital and then they gave him lithium which allowed him to live a better life looking for better solutions than transgender surgery would be a better solution than pretending people that transgender looking, surgery is the cure people, for people are looking for treatments all the time this has been the this one is stopping that, the look no it really isn't but but be that as it may there's a book the, pay, the movie called infinitely polar bear out there about by being bipolar and how they are ostracized to this day so